I have a surprise. For oh you. my god, man, she's gonna no, give her something. Ah! What? Wait, wait, <laughs> give her something completely go. stupid. Hello, hello, good people. Salaviathan here. We're back with another reaction today. Today we are starting up something new. We're watching Miss Marvel. And honestly, I'm a little bit conflicted about this series. I like Myth Marvel as a character a lot. I think Kamala Khan is amazing. I, I enjoyed everything about her in the comics, you know, with her stretching powers and, you know, the gigantification and things like that. This series, though, is a little bit tricky. In the comics, you know, she's in a human and, um, that's where her power set comes from. But in this one, um, she I don't know if she isn't inhuman. I hope they do address that early on in the series here. But it seems as though her powers come from, I guess, these like basic place things that can kind of do light projection things like Green Lantern apparently the trailer um it was it definitely intrigued me you know it wasn't something where I was like oh I'm, I'm gonna write this off I hate this I hate this no it was one of those things where it's like hmm if they do this right it could be really really good you know what we're just gonna get started with that one don't forget to like share and subscribe turn on notifications down below so you know when I upload next and also check out the patreon link for full uncut reactions of this show other TV shows movies animes things like that honestly check it out if it's for you I appreciate all the support that comes on there but without further ado we are gonna get started with Miss Marvel episode 1 generation Y let's go Finally, the moment everyone has been waiting for. The final chapter to my 10-part series on Earth's Mightiest Hero, Captain Marvel. I've learned a lot about Captain Marvel, and I know at least three things to be true. One, she blasted through Thanos' fleet like the flaming angel. And you know what? She looked good doing it. Two, she, like, she punched Thanos right in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, kind of did happen, but she was one of the badasses in the movie. Remember, new episodes drop every Wednesday. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe at Slot Baby Productions. Malakan, coming on me! Hurry up, you're going to be late for your driving oh, She has, like, test. no views now. Oh, no, I would have expected at least, like, a couple of views. My Kamala, the road is a long and winding one. So never fully stop at stop sight. Way too early for poetry up. <laughs> and remember to say bismillah before you start the car, because you're going to need all the help you can get. Don't even have a license. He's trying to get a learner nerdist permit, I guess. <laughs> guess this is the first step, the car on. being a hero. That's my car. Okay, you cannot be that bad at driving, man. Come on. Like, who just floors it? Camellia, glad you're not bruising from that dodgeball incident. <laughs> the guy called it Camellia. That's not even around. her name. I bet you were going to pass. So now I'm out 10 bucks. So I guess we're not going to AvengerCon. No, 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 Bruno. A cosplay yes. competition I I for Carol Danvers <laughs> at the greatest fan event of the year. My costume is near perfect, just pending the final flourish. <laughs> really? Sorry, Zoe. Fine. It'd be super weird if we asked her for a ride to Venice. Yes. Why? Her mom used to drive us to school all the time. Because she is the absolute worst now that she has like 100,000 followers. Oh, she used to be their friend and now she's famous, so then now they don't hang out with her anymore? Well, I hear you've had a hectic couple weeks. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> this is the dodgeball incident. I'm so glad we got to see that shit. I mean, college admissions are coming up. Before you know it, it's SATs, it's essays, it's applications. You're gonna look yourself in the mirror and you're gonna ask yourself, Kamala, who is that girl I see staring straight back at me? You're sitting literally. Really, from man? <laughs> really? I am. You are. Okay, come on. I knew I heard that from right somewhere. Now. This is the first one ever, right? And then future historians, they're gonna start writing about this year of AvengerCon. And where does it start? Here. Okay, there's not gonna be another first Avenger Con ever again. Never. Switch the backup line in. I wanna mash up like Captain Panther or Iron Marvel. Ooh, Doctor Strange Marvel. I could yeah. be like, 
Cool. Yo, I'm digging the whole cartoonish drawing vibes that's going on in the show in the background. Is this from Nani? Must be things for the bath bucky. This is so cool. Is this Nani's? That is Joan. I think her mom knows what it is, yo. I thought her mom would be oblivious to it, but no, she knows what it is. Kamala, Flying vultures in Armani suits just buying up the whole neighborhood. Dang, we will actually get a halal guys this time. Did you hear about Fatma's engagement? Broken. Hey, what happened? She decided that she wasn't ready for commitment. So now she's off gallivanting through Europe to discover herself. Okay, but what, 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 what does she have to discover about herself? Good for her. <laughs> I mean, she wanted to travel the world and she went for it. Yo, they were hating on that stuff. I made this myself. Okay, this is the Zuzu system. Yeah. It connects all your devices, and I added some new features. All you have to say is Zuzu, and... Bro, I'm surprised that he's so open Zuzu. to new technology. Usually, usually older people are like, yo, I, yeah. I don't need all that technology. Abu, ah, let me... Mm. So there's this thing called AvengerCon. You know, it's it's really something incredible. It's, it's never been done before. It's like the first fan event celebrating our, our great heroes of our time. So you want to go to a party? At night. Why is, is she go? Joke? It's not even a party, it's man. Funeral. Look, I promise I wouldn't do anything stupid. You you do trust me, right? No, I don't trust you. Of course she does. No, I don't. Why would she straight up tell her daughter, "I don't trust you" to make good decisions, man? Her mom, her mom is ridiculous. And if it was him asking, be like, "Oh yes, I'm a bit Do what you want, I'm a bit Please, please. And, and but me no because I can't do a single normal teenage thing in this house, right? Look, that was a bold move. Not very well thought out, but I respect you for trying. I'll talk to them. Really? Yeah, I mean you look kind of pathetic. Thank you. I got you. That's not bad. Just a second. Oh yeah, see there, she's trying to bring her own spin Hello? onto it. We have decided to let you go. Really, really, really. <laughs> yes, but there are special conditions. <laughs> I have a surprise. For oh you. my God, man, she's gonna the give her hat. something. What? <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> Let's give her something completely go. stupid. Con, okay, and and you can't come with me. Not just like that because it is so humiliating. Not that humiliating, man. At, le at least you can let the dad come and like dress up if he wants to, man. Hmm. <sighs> he's kind of a little bit sad of it because he's like, oh, I thought my kid liked me. <laughs> I guess not. My kid thinks I'm a loser. <laughs> God. I've never even seen them like that. Like what? Like. Mad? Hurt. And I think I made my dad cry. Imagine if she actually did make him cry. He did look like he was about to go into the room and, and like cry in his pillow or something. Yeah, but maybe they're right. Maybe I spend too much time with fan art and costumes and with my head stuck in fantasy land, so. Who's they? My mom, my teachers, Mr. Wilson. And let's be honest, it's not really the brown girls from Jersey City who saved the world. Sure they do, man. Don't think of yourself like that, man. It doesn't really matter who you are. As long as you have power, as long as you have a sense of duty, you want to save the world. Anybody can be a hero. Oh my God, you made these? Yeah, I mean, do you like them? Yes. How do they turn on? Right here. Bow. See? Cosmic. This is hot. <laughs> Get up. We're getting up. We're getting up. Oh, Listen, they don't shoot real. Oh no. Sleep tight, beta. Zuzu, please switch the TV. Boy, you're. Kamala, please tell Bruno the Zuzu is possessed by the evil jinn. He needs to fix it. All the luck with Zuzu. Television. What, is, what does she just realize, man? If I can't leave the house to go to AvengerCon, I'll go to AvengerCon without leaving the house. 
This is the plan. Kamala, you're the best sister ever. 5.49 p.m. I gracefully excuse myself and as my family celebrates my existence, I go to my bedroom. Then I make my way out of the house undetected but extremely impressive where you will be waiting in your costume which better be awesome. Please don't embarrass me. Me embarrass you? Yeah, I said it! 6.30 p.m. we catch the bus to Camp Lehigh. And it might be a tight window but we're gonna do it with style. Wait, is that us biking off a bridge onto a bus? Dream bigger, Bruno. This is interesting. So apparently she's going to pretend like she's in her room using the security system to make it seem like she's there. Yeah, this is definitely going to fail and she's going to get caught. And at 8 p.m., the real reason we're here, the reason I learned to sew and you learned to airbrush the cosplay competition. I'll sneak back into my room just before my dad comes in at 9.22 p.m. That's the plan. Got it? They want you to bring some of you to cut the marble, right? So your mom's Hulk isn't the right idea, but maybe something Pakistani? So worried about the plight of the parrots. You're speaking of parrots, you just remind me I have a biology report that I'm do tomorrow. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? Okay. She actually jumped out like that and fell down. <laughs> I didn't expect that she would do that. God. Let's hope they can make it. <laughs> yes. I'm glad they did. What are you doing? Are you at freaking kidding me, dude? Like, you can clearly see somebody was getting in. You don't do that. <laughs> well, this actually looks very, very amazing, man. The very first Avengers con. It's definitely gonna be extravagant. Is that Zoe? Oh, that's one of her old friends, man, who don't even care about shit like that. Don't worry about it. It's your time to shine. Literally. You have the gloves? Yeah, they're in my bag. Well, who knows what the hell those things are, man. Oh, she forgot the light bright gloves. Oh, so I think that's what's gonna happen here. She's gonna win the contest by using the light projections. Wow, you, you look great. Yeah, good. What are you wearing? Squish pin. What is that? My personal self-expression. Oh, cool. Yeah, but I can't get it on. It's like, it's for some reason. <laughs> oh, I thought they were bangles, but it's only one. I, it would feel better if they were a set, I think. Damn, it's like something just like awakened inside of her as soon as she put that thing on. Like, power was coursing through her body. What the hell was that? Was that like all of the, the, the past owners of the Bengals? <laughs> She's gotta do her signature stuff, man. Show her stuff. Oh, damn, yo. <laughs> Shit, this crowd should be going away right now because she doesn't know what she's doing right now. Uh, Alright, well, good luck following that, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, something was gonna go wrong here. Why are they 
guys still clapping? Wow, this is this is not something good. <laughs> Ouch, bro. Is that girl like, okay? What? I would think that would have caused some kind of damage. Now, is she enough? Can the bangles be taken off or are they like permanently on her now? I think it might be a permanent thing. Oh! Oh. Did that come on your foot? Are, are you okay? Hey, keep me updated. And text me everything. So weird. Please don't tell anyone. Don't stop. Okay, I've never tell anyone. Never ever. Never ever ever. This guy's literally gonna tell everybody. <laughs> There's no way. Her, par her parents knew she left, man. She's gonna get caught. I feel like that. I feel like she is. Come out. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> Where have you been? Who is this rebellious girl, sneaking out, lying to Abu and me? This. I hate this mom. She's so manipulative. I guarantee it. I've seen what happens when people get obsessed with their fantasies. I know. You're just gonna tell me some story about Nani. <laughs> It seems like the grand, the mom knows what how was going on with the grandmother. Maybe the grandmother used to be the old, used to be the owner of the bangles and was the hero back then. I mean, who do you want to be in this world, huh? Do you want to be good, like we raised you to be, or or do you want to be some, you know, this cosmic, head in the clouds person? There's nothing cosmic about trying to live your truth, man. Come on. She just, she just wanted to go to a damn convention. You're making a big deal about, way too big of a deal about this, man. Now she's like, I do want to be an, a cosmic person because I actually can be, man. <laughs> and I'm glad, I'm glad she didn't have to like, I'm glad she didn't feel ashamed about that. Okay, at least we're getting a little bit of a glimpse of what her co future costume is gonna look like. It's great. Okay, good. Post credit scene. Nice. Check this nice. Out. I've never seen powers like that. Whoa. Yeah, bring her in. Bring her into what? Bring her into what? So, that was Miss Marvel Episode 1. And yo, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Recapping it quickly, you know, we, we get introduced to Kamala. You know, her parents are very, very old school Muslims and things like that. So it's very, very normal for, for them to be the way that they are with her, right? Um, we get introduced to Kamala and her fantasies and how she wants to do, how she um, idolizes, I guess, Captain Mar Marvel, you know? This whole episode was them trying to figure out how to get to this Avengers Con thing. And it was pretty good, you know, once they finally ended up getting there, it was as, as big as I thought it was going to be, you know, with a lot of... Uh, craziness going ensuing her getting powers now at the very end of it all was was cool too to kind of see how she awakened that and as i was thinking about it when when the mother was talking to her she knew what the bangles were and she knew that her well she knew that there was something up with her grandmother in that regard so i'm thinking that this this show is going to focus more on legacy and the legacy of those bangle things and the legacy of the heroes that used to w w wield them because i'm thinking when she first put them on she had a glimpse of all the previous users within her mind and then it kind of came back out you know so that was that was cool that was that was really cool if it's a unique origin as they're kind of kind of presenting it as i think it'll it'll work really well so let's hope let's hope i don't know if they'll address the inhuman thing maybe she'll turn out to be an inhuman later on at some point who knows might be might not be we'll just have to wait and see good reaction good show i'm gonna keep continuing watching it and keep pushing out this content again thank you guys all for the support you give greatly appreciative and keeps pushing me to do these further but with that note i will see you guys around bye